Just gives a bit of story, Dylan, you uh, took off to America, uh, but I think back in would have been about 2003, 2004, I think. Yep. Uh, um, yeah, about 2005, I went to America. We raced there for a while. Turned 18, I wanted to start a new life and came to Australia. Yep. Wanted to get back on the bike and, and then uh, called up Sean. <laughs> helped me out with my fitness. How's so, your how's your performance over in America? Where'd you go on your bike? Yeah, uh, I, was, I was pretty good, pretty up there. I was almost uh, number one in my state in Iowa in uh, C class, my 125 racing 250s and everything. And then um, I tried to go for rudders, and I was in ninth position, qualifying position to the reg at the regionals, and I uh, ended up blowing up my bike. So I was bummer and that was the last day of race. <laughs> so but I've done I've also raced Ponca City and everything on my sixty fives and stuff and eighty fives. Yep. So yeah, that's and pretty much. You've obviously had a bit of a contact with coaching and, and training over there. What are we into our second day here? Have you how do you compare this style of training compared oh, to anything you've done or seen over in America? It's uh, a lot different, um it's insane. <laughs> it really works almost every muscle that you're gonna use out on the track. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it definitely gets your heart rate up there. So. And the style of uh, training, do you see that it can replicate how you ride in the race? Like, oh, everything? yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, 100%. It's pretty much everything that you're going to be using out on the track. So Cool. Five up, up, down to each other. Feet uh, together. Good. Five on your other arm. You're at beauty of outdoors training. <laughs> okay, three minutes ten. Yeah. Get it all up. How did that feel during it? It was tough. <laughs> yeah, it was really tough. Feel. Oh, a lot tougher than I thought, eh? Hey? A lot tougher than I thought. It is 